94% of the roads in the United States are made from asphalt. You might wonder, how is asphalt made? Today we put on our hard hats and explore an asphalt plant. Asphalt is primarily made with rocks, referred to in the industry as aggregates. Large aggregates are used on roads where strength is important, and smaller aggregates are used on things like tennis courts where smoothness is important. Asphalt is primarily a local industry. The rocks come from local quarries, and the projects are usually local to where the asphalt is produced. The asphalt rocks are bound together by a petroleum product called in the industry, you guessed it, binder. The aggregate is delivered to the processing plant either by ant loader or by conveyor systems. We begin our exploration at the batch plant. Individual mixes of aggregate and binder are made for each truckload. Then we explore the drum plant, where there's a continuous flow of the same asphalt mix, which is very good for large projects. The aggregate is dried for three reasons. The first is to take the moisture out of the aggregate. The second is to heat up the rocks so that they can easily absorb the oil asphalt. And the third is to separate the fines or the dust particles so that they can be introduced later in the process to help bind things together. At the top of a plant, there's a screen that sorts rocks by the different sizes. The screening process allows the rocks to fall into different bins so they can be used for different mixes. The right size rocks are introduced into the mixing bin as well as the asphalt oil and also the dust and recycled asphalt. We'll talk about this in just a second. Okay, lots of plant information graphics here. Pause if you want to read it all. We've been talking about batch plant processing. Now we're going to talk about drum plant processing, which is similar, but the steps are in different times. In drum plant processing, the rocks are sorted prior to going into the dryer. The rocks are heated up so that they can mix with oil in the dryer, and then the dust is added as well. Of course, if you're using recycled asphalt, this is where it's added to. The finished product is taken by conveyor to a silo where it's stored for flowing to those trucks on a continuous process. The trucks now take the asphalt to the project sites, but first they gotta check in with the way station and get their ticket on how much it costs. But wait, there's more to the asphalt story. Asphalt is just about everywhere and has to be redone periodically, which means it can be recycled. Asphalt oil is expensive. Old asphalt paving retains the oil content. Ground up asphalt is taken to the plant so it can be ground further and reintroduced into the process. Quality control is an important and required part of the process. Because the asphalt has to be warm during installation, that's one of the reasons why plants are near the construction sites and why asphalt installation is done mostly during the summer. Appreciate you giving this video the thumbs up. And well, see you later.